welcome back to part two of two of the PlayStation VR demo disc number two. I am your host, a tax slug of four demos more to wrap things up with this short video series, starting with the persistence. The persistence demo, press X2. It's time to ready yourself for today. Oh no. Okay. To contend with today, Alan. The command Alan? Dead. Alan? And there is an asteroid on a collision course with the persistence. What is the persistence? Is that the name of the ship? Oh, that's definitely foreboding. Well, having played through Resident Evil 7 in VR entirely, I am not unfamiliar with the aspect of playing a FPS horror type deal in VR. Been there, done that. Um, now, what does this one do differently? I guess is the question. Well, that dude looks a little dead. Can I shoot? No? Alright. Sure. How do I... Oh, that's a... What? A forest of some kind? Uh, Alright, I got some frag chips. How do I... The game didn't really teach me a whole lot here, but I'm investigating, so... Stem cells. Stem cells, that's weird. Okay. Uh, I guess we keep on going this way. Through the... What? Hello. Oh. Gravity bomb, swarm droids, fabricator. Give me a... Gravity bomb. X. Fabricate. Sure, yeah. The future. Cool. Gotcha. Not enough. Okay. How do I? Oh. Hello. Remember, you need to activate the debris defense shield. Give me the thing. I mean, it's got a cool atmosphere so far. I like the. The hell is that? I like the. I don't know. Like the your hands being so still is not like how it was in Resident Evil, or from what I recall, in Resident Evil, so... I don't know, it seems a little bit weirder. I hear... somebody creeping around in here. So... Hi. Buddy. Do it! Do it! Hi, no! Sure. That's, um... Yep. I can crouch, but I can't run? Is that what's going on here? Uh, what is this, and can I interact with it? I can. Like, this interacting stuff where you look at it is weird. Because you kind of got the gun here the whole time, and that's kind of... I don't know. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Uh, just throw it! That was... Alright. Give me that. Like, I don't really have a gun, per se, and that's kind of messing me up a little bit, I guess. So, we'll keep going here a little bit longer, but I kind of get the idea of what this should be, I guess. I'm not sure how long this game is in, in total. I'm not sure, like, how full-fledged of an experience it is. Um, that was... What? Can I... No. What is this even doing? I'm not sure how to fight this thing, because... This... What? I tell... I can teleport? Really? That's weird. That's weird. I won. I beat it. Also, it's making my moves vibrate, so can I use the move controllers to play this game? No? Then why does it make the moves vibrate when I shoot things? Like, I don't understand that part of the equation, but what do I know? I killed that thing. I killed it good. Let me get some of this. Like, I, I kind of like the being able to pick up by just by looking at stuff, but it's also kind of a little finicky, so it's not super great when you do it. Like, it doesn't really feel... I don't know. It doesn't really feel right. And not being able to click a stick and run is kind of really hard for my buzz. And, like, I understand it's a comfort thing, but 
it totally works in Resident Evil, and if everyone could just kind of copy how they did it, then uh, perhaps we'd be, be better off with more VR horror games. Because definitely, VR horror is a great thing. Like, I like the idea of having a VR horror thing, but I'm just constantly hitting the left stick here to click, and it's not making me run. And that's kind of a lame thing, to be honest. And this thing, like, not being a gun is really kind of messing me up. That's really weird to me. Just picking up stem cells. It's cool. What? Alright. Get that health. And you keep... Like, I don't know how long this is. I don't want to sit here for the whole... Ooh, what's over here? What do we got over here? Cup of haters. Cup of... Wait, that was it? Really? Huh. Well... Not that I'm lost, but... I'm lost. Hi. Let me do that. And it's making my freaking moves vibrate. And I died? I died. So... Okay, that was the end of the... Demo, I guess. Moving on. Next up, we have a Star Child. So let's up oh, see what that is. And that's a cool logo. I dig it. So Star Child. Okay, buddy. You gonna come back around and land right? Yeah. Hi. Hello. I mean, this looks cool graphically. This looks, like, very impressive graphically uh, for, you know, a VR game on PS4 and whatnot. I am on a pro, by the way. Oh, we're going down. All right. What seems to be the haps? I can't control anything just yet, so I guess there's that part of the equation. Oh, hello, space crab thing. Hi. Aren't you special? Down into, like, I want the... Alright. The blue hell's that. No, I want it like up there. It was cool on Mars, or wherever we are. I'm not sure that I like being down here in this deep, dark cavern of creepy creatures. And or whatnot. So... When does the game start? It's a very long intro for a demo. Oh, hello. When does the action start? What kind of game is this? I guess is the bit bigger question that I have. Because it's not super clear just yet what I'm doing in Star Child. Okay. Oh, hey, buddy. What's good? Teeny tiny person. Okay, hi. No, I'm just a... Don't mind me. I'm just a giant head over here. Do I control? Oh, okay. Is this like a Metroidvania type type deal? So, side-scrolling game? I can dig that. I mean, it doesn't need to be in VR because, you know, it's kind of not... Not a, a genre you would think would need virtual reality. But whether or not it's a just a kind of a showpiece for whatever this is, or if it's actually like a Metroidvania, or if it's just, hey, a walking simulator, or... Like, I don't know what this is. Oh. Oh, snap. Hey, buddy. That's, uh... Cause I don't have a gun right now. All I can do is jump. All I can do is jump, and that thing wants to, I, I would assume, eat me on this alien planet. But visually impressive. Like... Visually, like you're looking things at the foreground and in in the in the background. What? Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Okay, puzzle game type stuff. I can dig that. I can definitely dig. Oh yes, yes. I can definitely dig that. That was pretty neat. Um, so 
All right, that's there. There's more to it than just walking, which is good because I was a little concerned there for, for a second about what was going on here. Um, so you're this little dude, and you use this to connect these things, and that's cool. I wonder if that there's more to it than that, like, as the game progresses, if you ever get a gun and shoot enemies, or if it's just kind of, hey, go control these little orb things in the background or the foreground, and have them complete little, you know, missions for you and such. That's not, you know, bad or anything, but I'm just curious to see, you know, what, what else would be in this game, as this is obviously a vertical slice of, you know, this whole Star Child thing. Whoa. Hey, can I be that? Can I be, can, can I control that? Oh, well then. That's also, no, I should run now. Hello. Mandibles. Mandible. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You tell him. Ro bro. Mess him up good. Hi, hello. I activated you. Yeah, sure. Let's, 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 this is a good idea. He t t totally won't smash us. Totally won't smash us. Yep. Like, visually, like, the actual depth here, and the scope, and the scale, I like a lot. Um, and there's your late title card. In a demo, which is weird, but okay. So I have to wonder... <laughs> resume, quit, and buy now. Can I just hit resume and play more? Or is that the end of this demo? I'm resuming the... the like, why would there even be a resume button there if... It doesn't actually do anything. That's kind of funny. But also now I can't quit. Really? For real though? Okay, yeah. You can resume looking at the screen. Or you can quit and buy now. Or you can quit. That's uh, that's a bit much for me. Just, just hit the quit button to go back to the menu, please. Thanks. Next up we have Fantastic Contraption. I think this one actually does use the move controllers. And so I'm going to put together some things and break some things, and it'll be fun. In Fantastic uh, Contraption. Okay, Fantastic Contraption. Use the T button to grab things. Grab things. Resize the... Wait. Can I... Wait, what? How do I... Resize the island so you can completely reach the whole play area. Oh. oh it's... Okay, yes. Got it. Yes. Let's do it. Let's do it. I don't know what I'm doing, but let's do it. Grab this stick and move it. I got it. I got this little stick. Resizing by grabbing the snaps. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Connect the other... St oh, wow. Okay. These are the basics. Arf, arf. Push my nose. I got the basics. Cool. Cool, cool. It's a wheel. Move it up a bit. Hello. Let go of the T button, then press the green button. What green button? Press the green button. To... Oh. Aw. Didn't go very far. Let's fix that. Press stop. Okay, okay. So we put this here, and then we attach an axle to it, a Curtis axle to it. And then... Yay, a wheel! Oh no! Wheel, come back! Bye. Bye. Arf, arf. Alright, moving on. I'm the Jelly Ball, and I want to get back home. Grab me. Hello. Move parts to match this outline. Let's build a car. I mean... Don't cheat. Keep pieces inside the build zone. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So this thing is going to go this way. Put this here. Put this here. Um, and put this here. Yeah, you got to kind of get really in here to get things resized properly. Like that. Um, and do I attach this? Here? Yeah, sure. Vroom, vroom! Vroom, vroom! Boop-a-doop-a-doop-a-doop-a-doop! 
Yeah! I need it. Oh no, where's it go? No, come back! Woo! Oh, goodbye. There was, there was, there was no breaks there, so... What am I gonna do? You know? Take parts from Neko's back. That's it. Get me home again. Alright, I don't... What? There's a stick. And a stick. And a wheel. Oh, I can just totally... That's... Wow. So, I want to have this thing face this way as a wheel. Like that. And then... Like... That. And... We want to build the same kind of car, right? But... We also... We also... Get... No. Like that, right? But then... You want to kind of build a thing about yay high. And build another thing about yay high. And then attach this deal here. And make sure it's balanced out properly. So you build another one on this side. And then you hit play. And it didn't work! Oh no! Square. Square. Nope, that's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. Oh my crap. I, bo I botched it. Okay. Um. This needs a touch. Like that. And then if I can take this and do this. Yes. It's lopsided. Okay. I need to get this thing. Is that enough? No, having it... Alright, alright, alright. Um, let's... Oop. Like that. Come on, make it! Make it! Make it! Make it! Woo! I did it! That was cool. I get the idea here. You're building things. And you're messing around with physics and that kind of stuff. And that's always pretty neat. But, we have to move on. So, Fantastic Attraction is really cool. And I might actually want to get that for myself and play more later. But, we have one more today. And that is Star Blood Arena, the final. Which, for some reason, I had to download outside of the app. Which was weird. But, you know, it kind of is what it is. I hit download. So, I'm going to have to quit out of this demo. And then, uh launch it separately, which is weird, but I don't know. That's fine. Hello, 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 hello. Among the glittering stars and worlds, creatures across the galaxy are locked in an eternal struggle for survival, for domination, for love. And a chance to kick the crap out of each other for cash and prizes. Welcome to Star Blood Arena! Bye. Grok, Buck, Dreg, Baron, Elsa, Lit. J3RV, Alice, Gundo, Blade, Apollonia, Apollonia. Alright, where's the game though? I mean, I see all that's going on here. The sp uh, spaceship shooter. I get it. I get it. Uh, but where's, where's the game? Can I just hit X here? I can hit X here. Okay. Good to know. Jerry, who's the kid? I don't know, Rox. We've never seen them before. Hey, buddy, what are you doing here? Get off our ship. Maybe they're the new flight coordinator we hired. Wait, what happened to our old one? You made him walk the airlock. Did I? You said he was negatively affecting our ratings with, and I quote, his stupid ass piloting skills. That does sound like me. Because it was you. Hey, buddy! Welcome to the show! I'm okay. Rox, and this shiny drink of water here is Jerry! Charmed. All you have to do is fight your best in the arena, get us some juicy ratings, and avoid the airlocks. What could be simpler? I would recommend you try our training simulator to get started. Sure. Good choice, kid. Let's do this! These load times are killing me here. I'm running out of time here. I'm on my recording device. Okay, I'm in the thing. It looks like it's 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 like rigs. It's 
like regs. Systems online. Can I fly? Well, well, well. Hi. If it ain't the new blood. Greetings, pilot. Welcome to the Star Blood Arena Burner Tutorial. We call all our new pilots burners because they spend most of their time in burning wreckage. Now, sit your butt down and get comfortable. Now then, let's begin with tutorial one. Safety system. Oh, God, Press here we go. Safety? Are you friggin' kidding me? Get to the good stuff. Uh, yes, right, please. Oh, uh, how about tutorial seven? Movement training. Now you're talking. Uruburus. Use your left control stick to translate your ship in the relative X Z axis. Yeah, that's not weird at all. Okay, I've played rigs. I know. Strafing, strafing. I'm gonna play the game. I should. I should, I should just get the freaking tutorial. My own problem. All right, L1 descend. I guess R1 ascend. Yup. Hey, Video games. The meat sack can follow instructions. Now then, your right control stick rotates your ship along relative X Y axis. We. We. And back. Oh, pitch. Oh, I just loaded that. Uh, I don't like that at all. I don't like that at all. No. No. Oh God. Species are confused by the concepts of up and down. Yeah. Your ship can accommodate their peculiar visual inversions. Everyone's a unique snowflake. This is making me a little bit nauseous. I don't like this at all. Your I'm good. Ship's propulsion drive I'm good, slug man. I'm a slug too, buddy. Translation: Press boost. Ship go fast. Okay. Fly into that teleportation field for the next training session. Can I quit training now? Because I'm getting nauseous here, so. So there's online ranked private match and single player. I skipped the tutorial. We got burn circuit and skirmish. I'm gonna do burn that's my only option here is burn circuit. So I can only choose one player here, so that's fine. Whatever. And then match one. Five minutes. That's good. I can only talk about five more minutes of this game. Oh boy. Okay, here we go. Place first to win. Yeah. Uh, I don't like this motion. I don't like this motion at all. I don't like how fast you die. I don't like any of this. This is uh. Nah, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna say pass on this one. Whatever this is doing here, I nope, nope, nope. Don't like it. Do not like it. It is no. It's nope. Uh, there's no way I can play this. There's no way I can play this. There's no freaking way. It is like look. I'm okay with most VR. Like most VR, I'm fine with. But this one, they need to go back to the drawing board on this one because holy crap, it's making me nauseous. Like. I'm about tapping out here because it is. Security. It's rough. I'd like to report a robbery. It's real rough. Adventure. And I'm fighting the AI here. Like, I can't imagine having to do this for real against people, against. Nope. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. Anyway, I'm Attack Slug. That is round 202 of the demo disc, part 2. Thanks for watching. More videos every day. We'll see you next time, right here on this channel and I'm out.